And we are back to the underground village, my fellow going medieval fans. I finally start producing and stockpiling steel in this episode. All the good quality level clothing is crafted and distributed to settlers, removing that ugly appeal negative mood modifier as winter starts. I use this time to hunt for more leather to spend the winter days on crafting more quality armor and I also start digging out the room for an underground greenhouse. It will be a bit of a different underground room design to which I'll be adding braziers to increase the temperature inside and create conditions to grow all my crops inside of that underground greenhouse. I also finally fix up my settler's schedule and make it more uniform so they can work in unison. There is a bit more fine tuning left but we will get to that in future episodes. In case you have missed any of the previous ones, from this playthrough or any of the other two, use this link up here or below to get you up to speed. As we go into winter in the underground village, I will have a lot of jobs for my settlers to do inside and a little bit outside as I want to do some hunting in this episode just before the temperatures go down that I don't want my settlers going out. I do have quite the amount of leather, 165, but that's enough to make perhaps two of these leather armors and that's about it. I would like to make some helmets and some more armor, so that is why I'm going to wait tomorrow for the temperature to go up a little bit. Even though it's the first day of winter, the temperature will go up a little bit during the day and then I will send out my villagers to maybe get a wolf and probably a deer and maybe some rabbits, although there doesn't seem to be a lot of rabbits, so I might end up losing their population if I take out too many of them. I have seen about two maybe three deer so definitely i'll hunt at least one deer and one wolf as for the wolf i'll have to do that manually because if the villagers attack it one by one they'll just get mauled and damaged i don't want to see that and have to spend time with them being healed anyway as i was saying i want to wait till daybreak although their sleep schedule is a bit different for half of them because i was having problems with some of them being tired and this schedule is also just the schedule currently as they switch over to not being tired and they have slept enough, I will be changing the schedule so that I can have all of them on a similar schedule and currently they all seem to be well rested. So I think this can be a good time to change their schedule. So the best way to do this is actually just to go with anything like this, copy it down to everybody and then start from scratch. Although it shouldn't take me too long to do this because I already know what I want from this time even though it's night time, they would need to be working and because they will be mostly inside, that's going to be okay. So I'm going to have them work for, since it's zero, I'll start at one and they will be working for three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours. And then I'll have them have some sleep for four, have them do leisure activities for two, have them work for another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then they would sleep for another two hours which is kind of short so i will have to switch this around to have them sleeping a little bit sooner having some more yeah so they'll work one two three four five six seven hours they'll sleep for four have two hours of leisure time and then work for another seven one two three four five six seven hours and then they'll have sleep for another four so that's about it, seven hours of work, four hours of sleep, two hours of leisure time, and four hours of sleep again. Now, I am probably going to have a problem with leisure time not being spent as it should be. So let's go with three hours just to make sure that they actually take that leisure time and do what they're supposed to. I mean, after waking up, they shouldn't have anything else to do. That's why leisure time activities after sleeping are better than before sleeping, but they could be hungry, thirsty, and spend their hours eating and drinking instead of having leisure activities. So maybe actually one of you has suggested to me this a long time ago that maybe I should use the anything option and then let that time be spent on whatever they actually need so that I'm not ordering them anything. And I think I will attempt to try this out at this point. So with this schedule, I'm going to be able to hunt between six or seven or 15 and 16 hours. And I think the hottest part of the day, well, not hot during winter, but the warmest or the least cold part of the day will be actually a bit before that at about 12, 13, 14, but they'll still be okay. As you can see, the temperature should go up as morning comes up and dawns. 
but currently of course they are active because I've set up this kind of schedule but I will move it depending on how I see everything developing. In any event, I think that's enough about the schedule. They do have lots of jobs down here already. They are producing more iron because I've dug a lot of iron nuggets. Well, not a lot, but considerable amount in the previous episode. And they do have a lot yet to move, which means somebody should be doing that and having the steward and hauling job at number one. Some have it too, so that should happen soon. Research available, although I doubt it's steel. Yeah, it's not steel. Steel is what I'm waiting for. Who is managed to become idle? Why? Constru uh, so no construction, no mining. Oh, that's why. Okay, let's give them some mining jobs right now. So the rooms I have enough of as I counted in the previous episode and saw that I don't need any extra rooms. As for the space over here, I don't need anything increased in size. And there's plenty here for future food storage. So what I need is finally to get some rooms to actually be able to have an underground greenhouse. There's something I showed you how it's done in one of my guides and it is something I want to do now here. Now I do have this hallway here through this room but I have left that for some other rooms that I might need in the future. So where I am going to actually have that underground greenhouse is not here on this floor but actually down here on this one. And because the food is produced here and it's stored here, here and here, I should make that greenhouse be right here. So it's rather close to everything over here. What is needed for a greenhouse is lots of space, of course. So let's start mining. If this is the doorway, I need to enter over here and then see about some pillars, which are going to be exactly here. So if this is the pillar, I can dig down to it and then like this and then continue onwards. Now what I'm going to do is something different than I did here. I want to use smaller sizes of these rooms but interconnected without walls between them so that I have an easier time having actual fields here. But what is necessary to make sure that this doesn't drop down if I were to dig underneath it at some point is to make sure that it has lots of supports and that is done by not having too much space that's without a nearby wall. So what this means is that now I have this little entrance here, this is the doorway, this is the first empty spot here, although the doorway could be here actually, but I don't want, could I have this one be my, no, I don't want, I want this to be a full wall, so it's going to go like this. So to make these smaller rooms, I'm going to dig in smaller sections. So now I have one, two, three, four, and then I have a pillar, meaning that I'm going to have a pillar over here as well. And that means that I'm not going to be digging there, but rather over here, like so. And then here we go again. And that means, again, I have one, two, three, four empty. I want four empty on the other side as well. So one, two, three, four. This is actually going to remain as a pillar. So I can dig over here and down here and over here as well. Pillar, one, two, three, four, pillar. So no digging here, like so. So this is the start of the structure and then we have a pillar here and then we dig again one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four pillar and dig here. So this is the start of this big room, which is actually going to have pillars for every four sections that are empty. Now that is going to give my miners a lot of jobs to do and I should have them depositing all what they dig here somewhere closer by so that they don't waste too much time. So I'm going to allow this stockpile to actually have material that will be raw, that will be clay. So I think everything is clay that they're going to be digging through. Yeah, it's all clay. So they're going to set it up here and then I'll move it up here later on by changing priorities for stockpiles. So that these here kilns have lots of clay to work with as they are down to just 37 at the moment. And I'm producing a lot of clay bricks for all my roads and future needs that might require some clay bricks. Now, is it warmer? Yeah, it's a bit warmer than it was, but still it's just 4 a.m. I don't want to be hunting at the moment. Let's see what was made. Good leather armor was made and over here I still have some sturdy winter clothing that hasn't been torn down because I have let this be. Flimsy sturdy. Yeah, good leave. Good around. So he still needs to make two more. And who is Alduf is doing this currently? So tailoring. 
he's doing it with level 21 skill, so he should do something good. Yeah, good land winter clothing. Excellent. Thank you for that. And he should do one more, but who was it that had bad gear? I think it was one of these down here. So good, sturdy. There we go. Holding to stockpile. She's close by, so we'll take her as soon as she drops that off. Excellent. Come over here. Oh, somebody already dropped off that clothing. There it is. Good land winter clothing. So first to take you, draft you, and then bring you over here. Drop to sturdy and take good linen. There we go. Winter just started. And then allow this to be deconstructed. Let's see. Where are we with the rest? So there are four of these that need to be deconstructed. And that means four here to be ordered up. Hopefully. Wait, is there anything more here? Yeah, there's another flimsy here and another flimsy linen winter clothing here. So that's actually six that need to be deconstructed. So we'll increase this and wait for them to finish this one and then do that. Leather and hunting, no, it's still minus 12. I'm gonna give them a little bit more time. And yeah, they're actually gonna go into their sleep cycle. So we'll hunt after 3 p.m. or 15 o'clock, as they would say in the other parts of the world. Now, they are already digging here, which is good. I could add a doorway, although that's not really necessary right now. What is necessary is wooden beams, as they are quickly going to start tearing all this down. And the wooden beams need to be there to give support. As for food, I'm not really producing any, because I have not gained anything new to make it out of. And I'm not sure that these carrots or beets are going to ripen. Beets might manage to do so if the temperature goes up during the day and the carrots perhaps although they're already saying plant dying low temperatures so that's probably not gonna happen. I should not expect any more food as I said beyond the beets to be ripe but I do have over 250 food in total in storage so I'm gonna be okay with that. Why are the packaged meals have been used up it seems? And why is this empty? Meals, lavish meals. Why have you not packed anything over here? Oh, because everything is very high. I see. I must have missed that on some point. So everything is very high instead of being high. Okay, so let's go with copy. No, not like that. Copy here and then just pass on the high so that there would be actually a shelf over here, which would be very high and then food would be closer by than in these shelves although i would love it if it was possible to limit the shelf to just 10 like a small shelf because with 30 meals here they kind of get warmed up a lot because the great hall is probably yeah at 12 degrees even in winter so food starts to decompose faster let's see about the research okay finally we can get to steel unlock that and choose one of those down there furnaces to actually be doing steel so stop with the iron go for the steel leave the coal in iron ingots and that should allow me to have steel over here although this is already filled up completely and i need to have the stockpile increased so we'll copy it over here and a little bit over here so that should help out with that spread it as far as i can so material, raw as gold, iron nuggets, and coal. So that's good. And as for manufactured, iron, steel, gold ingots, mechanical components. So that's okay. I will be able to have everything here. And it's a good thing the developers increase the size of the piles. Because now you can fit more in less. Now 13, they seem to be up and running. Yeah, they are. I'll just wait for everybody to stop their leisure activities. I can go hunting and the animals probably had a good day too wait you still haven't picked up these oh wow is there not enough room it's possible that that was the problem if i have already disabled the ability for them to keep it here yeah i probably did material raw nope they can still fit them here so somebody should have gone and picked these up where are you going now you're going to pray oh you're down there All right are you up here? Yeah, you are enjoying entertainment. Okay, so you're not going to do anything that I need you to do right now. 
has your time for... Yeah, it should be done by now. Where are you going? Drinking? And you're probably hungry. Yep. Okay, I'll have to take a miner and then deal with that issue. So let's take you all the way to here and pick up and haul that. Now, how are you with digging? Okay, no need for more of those wooden beams, currently at least. And you, my friend, are just about to start working on a new set of clothing. That's okay. This one will be producing iron. This one will be producing steel. Here we are producing bricks, although I don't think I have a whole lot of limestone. Yeah. So she's going down here and she will finally make sure that these nuggets are taken to where they should go. Let's just see how many can she pick up in one go. 30 and that she leaves 18. How about already working on it? Why not pick up the full load? Okay, 48. Who's already? You are already working on it, but you can't pick it up now. Okay, fine. That much is enough, I guess. So she'll do that. And 16 hours, let's gather around our best hunters. So marksman 18, marksman is 12. Okay, so I'll just not be taking Theodoric. The rest I can take on a hunting trip. Subtle idol. Who is idol? Sarah, why are you idol? There's menace in construction. Because construction. Okay, I'll give you some construction to do. Let's uh, go with this, this, and this. That will keep you busy for a while. Now, to get all of them lined up. Oh, walls are here. Excellent. They have shown up where I need them to be. So let's go. What are you doing? Never mind. Anyway, I need you to come over here. You're mining. You're hungry. You can eat after the hunt. It will give you a good appetite. You're writing and you're getting resources. Okay, everybody come over here. You are all armed with ranged weaponry. So that's good. And we should have some good hunting going on as soon as they get out here come on show up already yep all of them are here nope yep that's it. all of them oh the wolves are getting away okay so go for the closer one wait all of you stand here now what did you not oh you did actually hit him good now let's try out that little cheat or exploit that one of you has shown me how to do so they are now reloading. I don't want to spend time on reloading, so I'll go right click over here. And then I will go right click on him and unpause the game. Was this... Whoa, yeah, this was faster than I could see. Okay, so now go over here and shoot at that wolf. I'll go to speed 1 so that I can actually see this happen. Excellent. Are you reloading now? They don't even seem to be reloading. Oh, rabbits are close by. Okay. Let's take these out. Okay. Go like this and then go back. Nope. They failed to do this. So. Okay. Where did the wolf go? Nope. Can't see it. Let's try and get this rabbit. Excellent. And this one. Okay. Right click. Go back to the rabbit. Yeah, the exploit is definitely still operational. You can just shoot as much as you like. You just have to pause the game. Okay, so where is the deer? Where are you? Oh, here they are. Let's go take out one of those deer. Now, somebody will come along probably and pick these wolf coxes up at some point. Let's go over here. And while the temperature is still not that cold, although minus 16 is not really good either so let's hit that deer okay now click over here and then click back to the deer okay click again click back to the deer what how yeah they are suffering from the cold because this took way too long to do okay actually i'm going to keep them drafted just so that i can get them back to a hot temperature quicker because who knows what they would do on their own they would probably go pick up the that deer and rabbits, that can be done by somebody else. And I think it's being done currently. Yeah, there we go. Wolf caucus being carried away. Oop, I should. <laughs> what time is it? 22? Were they probably going? Yeah, they were supposed to go to sleep by now. Sorry about that. I'll let you sleep now. Okay, so a good hunt. I think I got like two rabbits, one wolf and one deer, which is plenty of future leather to be turned into good armor. 
Now, who is working on this armor? Okay, the Goodlin clothing was done. Excellent. I think I may have even over made these. Although, I think there was one more person who had flimsy. There we go. What are you doing right now? Digging over there? Okay. How about you come over here and switch clothing before somebody <laughs> takes this to a stockpile. Okay, and then... What? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Somebody already decided to pick it up. So, Margaret, hold into stockpile. No, Margaret, how about you go and build something if that's what you do? And the rest of the... What? Ah. Damned. Misclick. So, wooden beam over here. And then have this dug out further because I've placed all the beams. Now, Margaret, 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 where are you? Draft, so that should stop her from being able to take this. And then equip, excellent. Let Margaret go back to her job and you can go back to your own. Somebody can pick this up and then that too can be dismantled now that I finished production of good clothing. So I think everybody has good clothing now. Why are you still drafted? I totally left you to go your own thing weird so who is the tailor except all Dulf the other tailor is actually one I disabled that was Alfred because I didn't want him messing up the quality level but he could have actually gone and done this on the sewing station dismantling is something somebody with a lower level can do although Leveling up Aldof is actually a big priority, so I'll leave that as such for now at least. So it's winter day 2 and this is dug quite nicely. All the wooden beams are in place, we can continue digging. I think I actually see some limestone here. Yeah, there's actually some limestone there. Okay, but that's fine. Now I can continue designing the rest of the space. So we go now with 1, 2, 3, 4. Go up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Over here, go around, one, two, three, four, pillar, one, two, three, four, pillar. Excellent. And then we can keep on digging through here and here. And then we'll add more pillars as we go. Wait, I think I messed something up here. This should be dug as well. There we go, that's better. So they'll dig that and then we'll add in more of these wooden beams. Okay. At the temperature of 10 degrees, that's not going to be good enough for plants. So that means braziers and lots of them to increase the temperature and a doorway here to actually stop the temperature from going everywhere else and messing up everything. Because over here I don't want it to be too warm because these meals will start to go bad and you, as you can see they are already decomposing because of temperature. It's 10 degrees and they'll decompose in 5 days question is will they even be eaten in five days and you can't really choose a settler to eat like Harry is eating right now to eat something that's close to its expiration date as you can see 45 out of 50 45 out of 50 47 out of 50 and you can tell him to eat the one 45 out of 50 before the one that's 47 out of 50 and somebody brings in a fresh one 50 out of 50 and they might eat that one instead of something that's like 10 out of 50 so that's a bit of an annoyance when you actually have a shelf here in the great hall for them to eat because you have a little bit of a problem and an issue with them actually eating something that's away from its expiration rate and instead of something that's close to that. Mm, why is this stock file? I think I was using this for something else before so that's why it's such a weird size. Okay, uh, do I have any steel created yet? No, I think it's being created right now. Anyway, down here, this is almost finished. So, as I said, braziers, once the doorway is in. What the? Oh, it's mid-construction. <laughs> For a second there, I thought the doorway was stuck between two levels. Okay, anyway, as I said, braziers, what can I make? I can make stone brick braziers, I can make clay brick braziers, I can make the iron braziers, and the stone braziers, and the irregular clay braziers. Well, I'm gonna go for the more beautiful designed clay brick braziers since I do have lots of clay bricks. I'm going to of course put them in the corners. I won't be having any of those crops here on these edges so I guess I might as well use these corners here for that and then I'll put more in here where I 
won't have any crops either and i think that with three or four the temperature should be around 25 in this room which should be plenty i think i'll leave it at two and see how the temperature goes i'll add more as necessary but it is winter so it's probably gonna need four in any event how am i with research 12 and 44 yeah the person working on the research table is much faster than on the research table level one or type one or however tier one however you want to call it but that's okay i'll need lots of those anyway when it comes to the butchering table did they pick up all the dead bodies and do i have a lot more leather 105 and let's see what start oh what why are you still drafted oh my god that was such a miss how did i miss what she's been standing there for half the night no wonder the game was slowed down i didn't even notice we weren't running on game speed 3 because one of them was still oh man okay so what is her schedule then she will be going to sleep all the way here at 21 she's gonna be dead tired by then i have to mess up my schedule as well no i'm gonna leave no i can't leave it like that i'll just have her sleeping sooner then work a little bit and then go to sleep and sleep off that tiredness and then you'll just i'll just change the schedule back to working tomorrow once you have more sleep i think that will be okay but yeah an oversight that was really stupid so the doorway is finished i'll keep it open they should finish the brazier soon and they are already starting to dig the rest of this so as this is soon going to be cleared out clay going to be moved over here i can start choosing what to actually farm inside well actually i want to farm everything inside so there's really no point in anything i think actually i can put stuff that's well it's winter i don't think anything will grow at this point i mean we can try but i'm pretty sure it not even beets are gonna grow at winter day two even at temperature 25 degrees but let's make a test i think i tried this in the guide when i was showing you how to make these underground greenhouses but the point is the developers simply will not go here and plant anything so far in the year but as i said let's try it out so from here to here let it all be beats and see what happens required skill 20 yeah i think i have let's see growing 13 22 15 actually only one person has the skill enough to grow beets and for her for him actually tailoring is number one skill okay so this will have to be changed even though tailoring here is at 13 this will have to be changed this tailor will have to go to one this one will have to go to three and he's good wait what wait what did i just no i was looking at the wrong column oh my god my bad that was a face palm if you heard what i did just a moment ago that was an actual physical face palm for me doing this okay go back to three growing as 22 it's actually theodoric who can do this so that should go back to one and 15 11 17 five yeah but it's still only one person who can actually grow beets but that's why i've set his mining at 24 huh yeah this will have to go to two so he'll spend his time on that and mining will be handled by somebody else although i've given them yeah the mining is really high for a lot of them so when they're mining they basically don't do anything else so this person would be mining instead of growing plants and this person too this person would well her job main is to tend and to mine so that's okay here we would have mining but the other jobs are not that important nor are the skills high and over here we have smithing but no mining anyway so yeah it's kind of okay it's not the perfect schedule or of skills but that's how it works out when you have settlers who you got randomly instead of choosing their skills in advance like i did in my other let's play with the 10 super settlers link up here and below if you haven't had the opportunity to watch that last play up to now why are you still not dismantling this oh because you're doing this right you're crafting the armor first and how much do i have yeah all the leather was used up yeah the thing that i wanted to check out was about the bodies of those animals yeah they've all been taken okay so that's no problem 
no issue and over here they're digging nicely i need to start working on new wooden beams once they cut down all that yeah this is okay i don't think there'll be any problems with them digging this because there's still support of a lot of these yeah i don't think it will be an issue there's a lot of supports from the rest of these dirt pillars so that looks like it's gonna be okay they just need to dig this and i'll switch over the stability from the pillars over to wooden beams to make sure that nothing goes awry here and as you can see beet field minimum so temperature is five degrees in here it's 14 but nobody is sowing this and the person who as we saw could do this at level 22 oh merch caravan okay well well actually well why are you <laughs> you have some serious bodyguards bro and again somebody naked <laughs> those are some serious bodyguards i hope ozebert has some really cool stuff to be taking so many bodyguards with him anyway as i was trying to say what was i trying to say right the person who would be managing to plant those beets his number one job currently is to plant well to grow but that's the point here and he does nothing so as you can see even though you can have these things here and you can increase the temperature beyond the minimal sowing temperature if it's winter yeah they're not going to be sowing anything so even though the greenhouse does help to keep the temperature hot longer for the plants to grow you cannot sow a new field during winter well as we saw the merchant is approaching i do have something to trade at least sort of I have plenty of stuff, we'll see what he offers. Maybe I'll even sell him some research. You can always make more with my two researchers, 49 textbooks, maybe you could sell that. In any event, I want to thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.